In this video, I'll show you how to create a sign up form with Aweber. Also, I'll show you how to connect this sign up form to your website. If this is your first time on the channel, you are welcome. After watching this video, you can check out other tutorials on the channel. And also, if you find value in this tutorial, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Alright, let's get into the video. So before you create a sign up form, you need to create an email list. In my case, I've created my email list already. And this is the email list name, digital marketing and web design. Alright, but if you don't have it, you have to come up here and click on manage list. Alright, so as you can see, this is my email list. And uh, to create one for yourself, just click on create list. But I will not click it because I have created it already. And I will insert the video. Alright, so as an example, you have your personal name and list attached, okay? So you have to change it and rename it, okay? And also you have to give a description to the to the list name. These are my main focus because my site is all about uh, how to start an online business and how to design websites by yourself. And the description is uh, this list is for people who are interested in starting an online business. Okay, so as simple as that, you can change it along the way. I think so. All right, so click on next. All right, so my target is the English speaking market confirmation. All right, I'll leave it like that. Later on, if I want to change it, I can change it. That is if you want uh, the subscribers to confirm this will give you quality subscribers if you want them to confirm like you see when i sign out they want me to go confirm right so i cannot use like a fake account if i'm a real person okay but uh sometimes you don't get like more subscribers with that so but there is a way to change it okay but along the way we'll deal with that so you scroll down and i don't want to change anything here so i'll click on complete setup Alright, so welcome to Aweber. To make sure you get started as quickly as possible, answer a few simple questions for us. Do you have an existing list of subscribers you need to import? No, I'm just getting started, okay? If you have from other areas, let's say from get response, then you click on this to import them. I will click on no, I'm just getting started. So what did you use to build your website? I don't have a website yet. WordPress, Squarespace, something else. Okay. So something else will be like uh, Weebly, Builder or Click Funnel. All right, but in my case, I'm using WordPress, so I'll click on that. This is the main dashboard. Okay, this is the list. All right, to upgrade, you click on this. Manage list, integration, help. So this is your name and your account profile and stuff like that. Messages, subscribe. Click on create a sign up form. So I'm just showing you the dashboard. You have sales okay, templates, so right the template, sign up forms, diagonal template, shadow, simple. Okay, so you have a whole bunch and you can choose from this. Okay, so you can choose from popular okay you can use any of these you can choose from uh if you if you've saved one for yourself that you would like to use all the time that's under my template okay and as you can see i don't have one and corporate all right and the list goes on you can even click for more okay this is the template right now by default so i'll work with it all right, so this sign up form can be used for your blog website. Inline is for your web page. Okay, so if you have a, a WordPress website, Squarespace website, Weebly website, or Wix website, you can create this uh, sign up form and embed the code on your web. Okay. You can use it for light bars and pop up. All right, and you can embed it on your landing page as well. So you can make some changes to these disclaimers down here. We respect your email privacy powered by Aweber email marketing. When you go up here and you click on privacy, check what happens. Also, you can choose to take this off by clicking this. All right, so I will put them back. Okay, so click privacy and click powered by email. All right, so as you can see, this frame look too plain. So I would like to add image just to make it look nice. So click on add image, image gallery. 
so upload image uh, so this one click on it so this is the image but I'll move it up okay so let's go of it so I'm done so I'll close it scroll up all right so then I'll move the test I'll move it up here okay so double click it all right so I like everything bold close it okay so scroll up yeah you can change it whenever you want okay I can change the background color by clicking on this all right so let's see down here all right then click ok all right so when everything is done go to step two name the form so all right so this is the thank you page if you have a special thank you page already designed click on here and click on custom page okay double click this delete it and paste the url okay but in my case i don't have anything specially made so i'll use the basic version and i'll show you how it's gonna look like so this is the basic uh, default uh, thank you page i'll close it and that's what i'll keep and already subscribe page save your form so go to step three so who will publish this form to your website i will install my form my web designer will install my form use my form as landing page all right so in my case i would like to embed it on my website so i'll click on this you can choose javascript or raw html but i will choose a javascript and uh, so click on it so scroll down to make sure everything is highlighted okay so ctrl c to copy to embed it you go to appearance then click on widget i'll drag the custom html and uh, recent post and i'll go to all right and i'll copy the javascript so click on it once and make sure everything is highlighted then ctrl c to copy on window and go back or right click and copy so go back and click here and paste it ctrl v and save all right so it's saved and you click done all right then you go back to the main side that i opened all right so we're gonna refresh and check out nice okay so this is how you embed it on your website and also this you can shift it to the middle let's see something uh, so we'll click on it position let's see middle let's see good all right so i've positioned it in the middle so save okay so let's check it out restart this should be in the middle after it, it restart all right so as you can see it's in the middle so this is how you embed it on your website all right so i'm gonna close it i'm done with it and i'm done with that and over here everything is done save one more time and then log off this is the end of the tutorial thanks for your time please like comment and subscribe 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 to this channel until next time take care and have a wonderful day bye bye